Welcome Ninja Clowns. Um, I'm going to show you some things. I do not have, I'm working on Chief Hiawatha and Mansu Musa, but my main objective is to unlock five of each of these stages up here so I can unlock my rifles and do them. As I'm British and rifles are my strongest units. So that's my main goal, which I have not done that yet. But in my library, um, I focus on the yellow books are economy, the blue books are defense, and the red books are offense. And you notice I have really concentrating on my red books, and I need to upgrade my library so I can do these banners. These banners is a really big book. You need banners a lot, but I'm doing other things right now too, but I need to get on that. Um, very soon. That'll be my next upgrade as soon as this gets done in seven hours. Um, I'll upgrade my library and do uh, the banners. Okay. Um, so I recorded my first attack and it did not go well. You notice I have no defense except for the castle and the stronghold. Um, the castle, I think I can upgrade one more time and get another general but I'm not stressing it because I have three and I don't even have them max um, so I if I had any resources I would actually start a general right now but I don't so I need to train a general anyway um, I don't have my level five it got hurt and I'm not waiting 14 hours so I'm gonna use my Cleopatra a general's will will raise war rank a lot uh, so with the stronghold and the castle wheel, but you notice I don't have any defenses at all except for this one tower that they force you to build You can't get out of building that tower. Okay, and what this does is Just having a stronghold and castle This makes me have a very low war rank. You notice I am ranked number 29 Okay um, go through our, this war roster at ninja clowns and These are all uh, individual players and um, so I'm down here at rank number 29 with classical, below medieval, and I am able to kill pretty much any gunpowder base there is, especially once I get my rifles maxed. There won't be a gunpowder base that that will be able to stop me. Um, in my lion's gate, I personally prefer bazookas um, because they're very high DPS, good health, and they just do a lot of damage, especially at this level. Um, so we're going to go over uh, this base first. This is my first attack. I recorded it, but the audio was not that good because I did it on my phone and I kept covering my mic up. Um, the thing to remember about war is the city spawns six spaces away. And most regular buildings are three, like this mortar and this garrison are three, and this tower is three. The wall is one space. Okay. Um, if you take and you place your city and you place... Buildings, regular size buildings like mortars, garrisons, and farms all the way around it. Um, you can see the circle. You want to memorize that circle. Like the corners are going to be smaller. Okay, so what I did was, you notice this has a market way out here. I dropped a raider right out there. Uh, came in from up here. Dropped bazookas here. Um, I want to say I dropped my coalitions over here. Uh, pirates out here, general out here, and, and I think I dropped my terracotta on this side, along with my stronghold troops. I used uh, uh, pirates for stronghold, and I used um, an Indian elephant army from expeditions, and I want to say I used something else. Oh, support. I used support, which are free. They're all free troops. This is a free account. I do not spend any money whatsoever on this account. Okay, so we're going to go over this replay. I'll show you how well I did. I would have got a faster time if he didn't have level 9 walls. Um, very tough walls to go through a gunpowder. But I still managed to do this in about 2.5 minutes. So it wasn't that bad considering he had strong walls. Um, so we're going to go over this. I'll do it in double time because we're about to do another tag. It's a little lengthy video. I need to cut that off, but... Uh, so, I dropped my bazookas, dropped pirates, dropped my raider out there, dropped my army. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just getting all kinds of notifications. There goes my general. Okay, yeah, coalitions over here and terracotta. Now those must support. What do I do with terracotta? Oh, I dropped terracotta with Marmy. I see Bazooka did a real good job. They busted that wall and was able to get in there with my coalition troops. Of course, they died real quick because they had two anti-tank guns. Bazookas do not like anti-tank guns. But I did sub the city there. And I had good timing on it. I subbed it again before it spawned. So that worked out good. Now it's just a matter of beating up them walls and finishing everything as I managed to pretty much knock out this base. I use rally on buildings to speed them up. Don't like to point rally, it slows you down really. Um, Cause you, you know, your troops have to, they quit killing and they go to that spot. If you spot rally, if you rally a building, they just speed up. Notice he is 50 levels above me and I was able to five star him in two and a half minutes. And I got me two salt also. So, um, I'm not gonna hit this 24. Uh, Cause I'm visiting this alliance, I wanna stay in my age range. So I'm gonna hit this 26 right here. And we'll see how it is. This is a really weak base design. And and so I did bring pirates. Uh, pirates. What else did I bring? We'll see what else I brought. I, I brought bazookas again. Bazookas, I'm just going to drop out here and let them clean up out here. Probably. Yeah, I'm just going to let them clean up out there. I'm probably going to come in, uh, drop my Merc Camp right here with, so the Stronghold will hit on them, and then come in right here at this uh, Coliseum and sab the city. See, six bases will be, um, that's five. So as soon as I pretty much bust that wall, I need to sab the city, and I can sab it. I'm going to sab this mortar first with the city by placing the city right the sab right there on that road it will sab both of them and hopefully i can get that readout also that'd be nice uh then i have to worry about this mortar coming at me but if it starts hitting me i'll just sab it too it usually takes me two saps to get the city pirates out here oh i brought that's what i brought i bought pirates and then from expedition uh level two which is uh what medieval yeah medieval rank I brought two Greek fire, which really strong DPS, so they'll tear up this whole section up here. I don't have to worry about. Um, and then bazookas up here to clean up this stuff over here and just drop everything else right here and come in here. Um, general on this side, Merc Camp on that side, and drop right here at this. I do not have my wall miners upgraded, or I would use a wall miner to make it faster. But I don't, so we'll have to deal with it without it. Um, and the expedition army that I have, the wall miner, and it is really weak. So, uh, let's see, yeah, we're hitting 26. So, I don't want to scout it, I want to attack it. Sorry. Well, we're going to let this load again. Okay, uh, it's 26. Okay, um, see these are level 2 Greek fire. If they were gunpowder rage, I would save them and load strongholds with them for defense along with my armored cars. I don't use them in war. But these are level 2 and I got these from the expeditions that I go on. So they are fine to use in war. And then the pirates that you get from the Marco chest. Uh, these are just the first level bazookas. So not bad. 
I'm going to deploy Terracotta with my army, of course, and Coalitions with my army, too. So pretty much everything is going to get deployed right there. Um, the Stronghold is going to be deployed up there where all his resource buildings are, and the bazookas on the outside to clean up. Um, yeah, so that's that's my plan, and let's see how good we uh, execute it. He does have Mari, so I think I'm going to deploy my Stronghold first, because the Flames should take care of the uh, force defenders with the stronghold army or with the coalition army that he uses um, So we'll just drop them up here And alliance gate over here And we'll do merc camp here and that at the tower And this in the middle And they're going to up to the wall. Got them all with this. Got them all with that salve. And see, they like to, whenever you do that, that close to the wall, they do like to spread out and hit the wall. But it's okay, because so I have 50% quick beat, really quick fight. Coaches and flames are just so mean. The pirates died. They're weak. I hate the pirates. But everything else is good. Bazookas, I don't know what they did. Oh, another pirate right there. I'm not sure where my bazookas went off to. I didn't rally anything, so we'll see. And then let's speed things up by doing, we'll wait till after that's gone, and then we'll hit this market over here. And then let them just finish off. And that was a pretty good time. Not bad. For a wide open base. And I, did, I use Stronghold. See, if you watch your videos and you do your your battle chest and your victory boat, you end up with a lot of Stronghold. And you buy victory chests from Marco, you end up with a lot of troops. And if they don't age with you, like if I age to Enlightenment age, all the troops in my Stronghold will stay the same age that they are now. Um, so it's it's like as you grow, you can feel free to use your troops in war. Uh, that's why I advise. Now, of course, listen to your leaders and how they want to run things, but... I always use my troops in war, uh, my stronghold troops in war, at least the free ones. Um, I never buy anything on this account, but even on my main account where I do buy troops, I, I, even on uh, wars that we, I know we're going to win, we still use stronghold for good times and just play around. Because it's fun. It's the only time you can really use everything. So let me hit this retrain so it don't cut off. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. We covered war rank. We covered uh, city city spawns at six spaces. So make sure you sab it, uh, sab it. Count the seconds on your sab so you can keep track of it and know when it's about to run out. And then so you can sab the city a second time if you need to. Um, and that's basically it. We covered a quick deploy by deploying in like multiple areas at one time. So you can just con converge it all in the center and get a really fast time. Alright, well I hope this helps you. If not, uh, I'll continue making videos and you can watch them if you want to. Thank you.